This place is beautiful. Game arena. If you are ever in this area, stop by this place. Amazing PCs. Amazing kitchen food. Amazing oh, that is Cincy Lunar? Oh, it is Cincy Lunar. I'm sorry. That is. I've not seen him before. Even, oh. but <laughs> I thought you thing. would know. No disrespect. I've, I've not been to Cincy events in about four months now. Okay. I, I, I'm busy with the with the 9 to 5 matchup. The 9 to 5 matchup is pretty difficult. That is a really difficult that matchup. Is the, that, is the, that is the hardest match. The 9 to 5 matchup is just as difficult as the Bill matchup. Like, Bills, Bills are, like, really difficult. And, the, like, the third most hardest matchup is the GF MU. <laughs> A lot of people I know, they are really bad at that MU, man. But anywho, yeah, <laughs> Nebula versus Lunar. So this will... I already know Nebula's going to be rocking with the pack. Uh, Lunar going to be something new for all of us. He's rocking the Pikachu. Okay. Didn't make a tag. <laughs> yeah, that's really... Yeah. Oh, no, wait. No, what? Oh, wait. Oh, they had to switch out. Okay. Because there has to be... Uh, Nebula has to be player one. Yeah. Based off of the way it looks on the stream. Also, if you guys are tuning in to GG stream as well as Manakeet Gaming stream, please tune into both. We have a lot of good sets from both streams coming out, and we're going to be here all day. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Solid commentary on that side. Courtesy is a push block Psy and push block Wood. But right now, we're getting Nebula versus Lunar. Final destination. This is a beautiful stage that I don't get to see too often. Now, I don't agree with taking Pac Man to the stage. While he's less setup heavy in this iteration of Smash, he still has the setups going for him. And along with that, no platforms to really mess with the flow of his fruits or the flow of his hydrant. Yeah, let's let's see how frustrating this could be for Pikachu. Because it looks like it's going to be a frustrating matchup. Because you can see the items are coming at you like a storm. Oh, most definitely. And he's just eating all of it right now. Oh, wow. The orange was not able to even get through the invincibility on um... oh, no, Pikachu's recovery. Now, I'm surprised he went for a dash attack and not for a jab. Every Pikachu loves to go for the jab after the down tilt. Every single one I've played. Oh, the dare does not get the spike. Still going to be able to recover, but the back air pressure from Lunar. Okay, Lunar slowly bringing this back, trying to go for it again. Couldn't quite get it. No tech. No tech. And it would have been very interesting to see. He got spiked by the hydrant. What if he... Oh, he got saved. Didn't was... even need to tech it. I was about to say, do not land on that red hydrant. But I was about to say, what if you got spiked by the, the Thunder as well? That'd been very interesting exchange right there. I would have loved to see that kind of edge battle. Okay, gonna opt for the up smash on the Hydrant. You gotta be really careful when you're trying to launch that Hydrant. Go for something that doesn't leave you in too much uh, end lag. You want something quick and concise. Maybe even P uh, Pikachu's Nair could work, Pikachu's Ford Air could work. Because Pac-Man players were always gonna be looking for you to get rid of Hydrant so they can do exactly that. Just smack it right back in your face while you're stuck in that end lag animation. Bell almost killed. Oh, and he's dead. He's dead. He actually died. Uh, uh, he was... He had it. He had it. The stock one, and then he just lost it. Stock two. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Just gotta find some way to get this going. Pikachu definitely has a lot uh, to bring to the table. There and we go. The dash attack. We'll take it off the top. A little slow crouch. We're gonna wib wibble, wibble, wibble just a little bit over. <laughs> <laughs> Both characters are going to just slowly waddle their way across the stage. Not seeing too many drag down there. So he's, at the same time, you know, Nebula's not really giving him the opportunity. And look at that Nair usage as well. It's being, it's really good as a combo breaker in this game, I've noticed. He's trying to just get rid of the Hydrant. He, none of the attacks were able to move Hydrant away. I got to say, Quick Attack is amazing at getting through the fruit. All right, just a little something he doesn't have to deal with. Maybe it's even fruit dependent. Maybe Bell could go through it, or maybe even Key. We'll have to see that as this match continues on. But this game one is already over. Solid roll read coming out from Nebula. He's able to close that one. Pretty, pretty solidly, you know. Lunar wasn't play isn't playing too bad. I can see that he'll be able to make those adjustments. So. If anybody wants to buy Sands on my Switch, go for it. Someone already offered. Uh, yeah, and I said yes. It's only 75 cents. You just got to wait till we have a little bit of a break. Just like a half second. Like, Guess we'll have to wait time. for Top 48. Yeah. So if I say, yeah, definitely stick with the Pikachu play. You're not playing ter terribly. You're just losing in certain certain situations that you got to start recognizing a little bit of impatience yeah just a oh bit. yeah you got to be i want to see a bit some some crawls just like walking towards him slowly or even just t-jolt spamming pac-man has really really good frame data oh you, you okay i was about to say you messed up 
but you right. didn't quite mess up. That was solid. I was expecting a uh, grab and sit down throw back in the nair, but he goes for the up smash, just getting that percent. I respect it. Yeah, Pac-Man Pac with the frame data. His Nair is amazing at getting out of stuff. His Hydrant gets him out of stuff. So many different things will get him out of different combos that most characters could not. And the setup with the up B launching the, the uh, Hydrant was really good. It actually, because the Hydrant was still active, it ended up stopping all the Thunder Jolts that Lunar was going for. Ooh, not going to be able to stock just yet, but next, next one's going to be good. Melon has a ton of knockback on it. I don't know what setup he was going all for, but oh, <laughs> up air. Taunt up, get bodied, okay. Jeez. At the perfect percent. Oh, he'd see, that setup was, that was a good setup. Pikachu was trying to ledge trap, but then Nebula was able to come back with a little bit of a bonus fruit. Oh, no, oh, the Hydra's just, no. Oh my god. How? You've seen it so many times before. How are you expecting it to Everybody, not hit at this at this point? Like you should be used to this the setups now. Like I don't I don't know. I, like even the, some of the simplest things can work. And oh my god, that did so much percent. It definitely did. Oh, I think that was a bait with the. Oh, is he gonna go for it? He's gonna up. No, he Z drops it. Interesting. I've known I've known Pac-Man's to uh, after throwing the hydrant, running off, up throwing it, and the water will flow it towards. Yep, towards them. It's gonna be the nope. Wow, just cannot get through this uh, this uh, quick attack. That's such a meme. Oh, that's that's it. F smash. You are done. Three stock that time coming out from Nebulous. A very solid two zero. Yeah, unfortunately, not enough patience was coming out from Lunar. Lunar was just like, he's like I want to kill him. I want to kill him. I, I want him to die. And instead, he died. <laughs> So very solid play from both players, but Nebula looking, he was pretty solid with that with that pack play. Maybe even put a, a little smile on T's face. You never know.